issue with this guy is that if you don't if you don't substantially reduce your, my buying price, why would I bother? Because the customer has never heard of your product and they're not demanding it. So as a manufacturer, you've got a choice. You've either got to throw a huge amount, I mean, you tend to have to do both. You have to throw an awful lot of money at targeting your end users to get brand awareness. And you can only really do that by giving the product away for free. So, you know, seeding a market to put the product in plumbers' hands, give it to them for free so they try it and use it and realize it's a good product. And then over a period of time, withdraw the, the trial product, have that, you know, show that there's demand and good customer recognition and then try and sell it in with a distributor. But again, you're still going to have to go in at a discount price to a distributor. So the issue you've got is you've got to throw a huge amount of money up front of it by persuading end users to get brand recognition. And that's through product trial and through, you know, above the line advertising, which is hugely expensive um, when you've got no real revenue growth. And then you've got to discount your product into distribution channels. So... Uh it, 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 it's horrible. The only way that I think that you can break international markets is to break the distribution model, and that would be go direct. So if I was trying to internationalize John Guest, I would ignore going through distribution, and I would I would sell online direct to end users and cut out the middleman, because it's the only way that you can afford to spend your you know, spend a whole load of marketing money and sell direct to end users because it's a small, you know, it's a product that you can send in the post. You know, it, it, it's all small and sendable product. So is there potential for internationalization? Yes. Do you have to throw a whole load of money at it up front with no guaranteed returns? Yes. And would I do it through traditional distribution channels? No. Um but, you know, and then you get into a set of skill base for the management team who aren't used to selling direct to end users. They've got no expertise. They've got no history. You know, they, it's a very, very different requirement selling um, B2C than it is B2B. And, you know, that that's where manufacturers fail is because they don't understand the B2C market. But, you know, being, being realistic, I think it's the only way that you're going to be able to afford to break into new international markets. All right, that, 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 that's very helpful. And, and also, I think just a couple of, or more questions from my side. Uh, we, we have also followed a company called Reliance Worldwide that, that they manufacture a product called SharkBite in the U.S. Is it, uh, two questions, maybe. Is this a, a company or brand you are aware of? And, and number two, uh, we understand they've also recently launched the UK and and in, in Europe. So, you know, if you recognize them, it would be interesting to, to hear your thoughts around the, the potential. Uh, I can honestly say I've never heard of them. <laughs> no, I think it, it's quite interesting because they, they are a little bit the – the U.S. player of John Guest, if you want, I think they have 50% market share, but they do brass uh, fittings. But it's very similar technology in terms of yeah. you know pu- push uh, push to connect and and very you know easy to install, uh, very very kind of DIY like if you if if, if you uh, yeah. if you ask a traditional plumber. And I think yeah. It, we just heard they have have try, tried to launch a bit now in the UK a plastics push to fitting product as well. So it would be interesting to hear if you if you have any thoughts. But the, the, the main yeah, I mean I enough, think uh, you know this, uh, yeah. yeah the same issues John Guest has got internationalising yeah. is they'll have internationalising here. I mean it's just those mechanics just don't yeah. Yeah. you know it is such a long a long journey and requires so much upfront cash is that. People tend to lose the, you know, they go in it. They go in it. If John, as you said, John Guest has been in the U.S. for ten years and got nowhere, is mm-hmm. because you don't want to put the money that's needed up front because it's risky and there's no guaranteed return, and and you give up. It's easy to give up because you, you know you just you are just throwing money into an empty hole um, for a long period of time. So do I? 